Hello you guys, it's Dennis here from Denix Creatives. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design this e-flyer with Adobe Photoshop CC 2021. So with that said, let's jump straight into the video. This video is brought to you by Master Bundles. Master Bundles is an amazing marketplace for every graphic designer where you have an opportunity to sell your designs. For this purpose, you share some commission with the marketplace, but Master Bundles does the marketing and SEO optimization of your products to make more sales. Also, you don't need to create or rent your own shop since you have your store at the marketplace. It's a beginner-friendly platform that started growing since 2021. This marketplace has only 50% commission from your sales and moderation is very easy. There are many categories you can cover as a designer and be noticed by thousands of regular clients because here, competition is more lower than other marketplaces. Designers created products like graphic design elements, fonts, add-ons, design templates, and stock content on master bundles some design templates you can sell here are your social media designs print designs resumes certificates landing pages and wordpress themes you can sell your business card designs as well and pretty much you can withdraw your profit starting from 50 dollar any day of the month through payoneer or paypal to try master bundles for yourself sign up with the very first link in the description and thank me later so once you are in photoshop next thing you want to do is to create a new document so you're going to click on create new and when you click on create new it brings up this dialog box and we have to set a custom size of course since it's an e-flyer we'll be working with 2000 by 2000 pixel so with that you're going to set your preset details you can give it a name okay i'm going to set it to e-flyer and i'm going to set my width 2000 height 2000 just like what it is and make sure your unit is at pixels Make sure you use 300 pixel per inch. I like working with 300 pixel per inch, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm printing, whether I'm not printing, whether it's an e-flyer, I still use 300 pixel per inch. Reason being that I love high quality, okay? So next thing I'm going to do is to hit on create. And once you hit on create, it opens up this canvas, this white spot where Photoshop gives you to design on. And then I'm going to use all these resources here to get this flyer done. First thing first, we are going to create a gradient on this background. So with that, I'm going to unlock my background. Just one click on the lock icon will unlock the background. And once you do that, you can come down to where you have your layer style, add a layer style. You click and you click on where you have gradient overlay okay and once you hit on gradient overlay it brings up this dialog where we're going to set up some things okay so click on where you have your click to edit the gradient and then double click here to give it this particular code we want okay first thing i'm going to make it black okay so take it to where you have black and hit on okay and double click on this other side also and type in this code i'm going to zoom in so you see the code very well you can type in this particular code um one d zero one four seven and that's the code okay hit on okay and hit on okay again so then we have something that looks like this okay and then if you look at where we have a uh, gradient view it's just on a up and down nature like we have blue up and black down but then i'm going to change my style to radial and then we have something that looks like this but pretty much we want blue to be inside and black outside so i'm going to hit on where i have reverse and once you hit on reverse this is what you get and that looks cool and then we want to enlarge that of the blue so you go to where you have scale and increase your scale and this is what you get make sure your align with layer is checked and then increase align with scale to 150 percent so that's what you get you hit on okay once you're done with that next thing we're going to do is to bring up the 
background we have here this worship or crowd you can call it worship or you can call it crowd bring it into photoshop and drop okay and i'll place it around here this position is just very perfect but then since the background is not filling up to this point so i'm going to hit on okay and we are going to do some magical things here rasterize the background i will tell you why you need to rasterize later then i'm going to go to where i have my filter go to liquify and what we want to do is to make sure that the background fills the whole space up there okay so we don't have that empty space so i'm going to zoom out a little and then reduce the brush size you can use your left square bracket or your right square bracket to increase or reduce your brush size so i'm going to use my liquify and take this up just like that you have to be careful so you don't distort the background okay something that looks like this is very very cool and nice so this is what we get okay it's cool at least it's not distorting the background once you're done with that hit on okay and then let's wait for the whole stuff to get set so once that is set next thing you see is that the whole background fills the space up here okay and that's cool and nice next up we're going to blur this background a little because it's going to affect our text okay it's so sharp and we don't want something that will be fighting with our text other elements in the design so i'm going to hit on filter and go to where we have blur and go to gaussian blur and make sure your blur radius is set to eight okay that looks cool hit on okay so we get something that looks like this it's very cool and then we're going to add a layer max okay and we have done much about layer max select the layer where we have the worship background and come down to where you have layer max add layer max so you click on that and you get this negative layer max and you have this white layer max just right here and then next thing we're going to do is to grab our brush hit on the brush brush tool if your brush looks like this you know your cap locks is on so you off your cap locks and then you get something that looks like this you can increase your brush size i told you how to increase using your left square bracket or right square bracket to do that then your foreground set to black brush this down part to make it blend with the background itself so with this we are good to go hit on your move tool and then let's bring in the other elements bringing this logo down to photoshop and drop you can hold out and reduce the size evenly just like that take it upwards and make sure it's at the center reduce the logo again until it's very small just like that place it there and this looks cool and very nice this design is as simple as a b c for anyone who is starting out with photoshop if you follow my steps carefully you're going to get this set and done and this is your stepping stone to knowing how to design with photoshop and really quick the design i'm making here is not a must that you always do the same thing every time all you have to do is to get the idea on how to work with photoshop and apply it to every other design you'll be doing with photoshop stick around because i have something very very special to share with you in this video don't click off because you will need to watch it on youtube okay leave a like in this video because when you do that it helps the algorithm to recommend this content more to more people i observe you guys don't like my videos please i'm begging you leave a like in this video and make sure you comment down below and when you do that let me know what you think about this video let me know your questions let me know the video you want me to make just comment down below because it helps this video to reach more people thank you for that next up i'm going to type the focal point so next up we're going to work on the focal point for this flyer and what's the focal point your focal point is the area of your flyer you want to use to attract your audience or your viewers attention okay so i have join us every sunday okay join us every sunday but i'm going to start with sunday and to get that done i have a text effect i need to open up and play around with it so here is a text effect 
So once this text effect opens up just like this, next thing you want to do is to place your text, okay? And I'm going to hit on where I have my smart object thumbnail, double click there, and it opens up this canvas where we want to place our text. All you have to do is to activate your text tool and highlight all and type Sunday. Pretty much the font here is very, very cool, Vichnetic. Let me zoom in to see the font. This is the font Vichnetic. And you can download that as well. Okay. So pretty much this is it. And once you type Sunday and you're going to press Ctrl T to transform, hold Alt and reduce the size so it fits on the canvas. And then hit on OK. And once you're done with that, press Ctrl S to save. And when you save, you're going to close this. And when you close that, it appears here. That looks cool. Just keep calm and let me unveil all these things to you, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is to take off the background. So I'm going to hit on the eye icon here to make the background invisible. And I'm going to hit on text to take off the PSD editable text, all those stuff, hit to take it away. So all we have now is just Sunday as a PNG with no background, okay? So we want to change this blue color to match what we have here, which is purple, okay? So all I'm going to do is to check where I have the blue layer. It's in this group known as bottom, okay? So with bottom selected, I'm going to right click and rasterize, okay? Okay, I'm going to match group. And when I match group, it becomes a raster. You can see it becomes a raster. So all I'm going to do next is to hit on where I have my adjustment layer, hit on hue or saturation. And it opens up this uh, properties panel where I have to make some adjustments so we get what we want. I'm going to hold on where I have my hue and adjust the hue until I get purple just like that, okay? So let's see if this purple matches the purple we have here. I guess that looks cool and nice. I'm going to take back a little. I guess this is perfect, okay? This purple is perfect for me. Okay, that looks cool. And with this, we got it very, very right. So next thing we're going to do is to match all the layers we have here so this won't seem very heavy hold shift click on the first layer hold shift click on the last layer right click and click on match layers okay so when you match all layers it becomes a jpeg just like that and please when you match this don't save your original text effect so you can use it next time okay hold and drag take it to where you have your e flyer and drop once you drop that, it creates a layer for itself automatically. And then you have your Sunday just right here. So here is the special deal. Have you always wanted easy ways to get premium text effects? Don't worry, I have something for you. I have 50 plus premium text effects and I've been using them for the past three years and it has saved me a lot of time and stress. Click on the link in the description and get this text effect for just 2,500 Naira. And the price will go up to 4,500 Naira after 3 days from the day this video was published. So purchase now. If you are in any other country outside Nigeria, you can purchase in dollar or with your own currency. Hurry now because you may not find this offer anywhere else. So once you place Sunday around here, Next thing you're going to do is to type join us, okay? The position of Sunday is very, very perfect and you don't need to do much design here, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is to type join us. So I think I'm going to change the font to something else. I'm going to use Montserrat. Um, I love Montserrat a lot and that's the font I'm actually using here. Um, here is the font so you can download Montserrat and I'm going to use Montserrat um, bold perfect Montserrat bold and I'll ensure I'm using capital letters okay so hit on where you have your character panel and hit on where you have all caps okay so I have everything caps that's cool place it around here at the center 
Ctrl T to transform, hold Alt and reduce the size a little. So you have something that looks like this. Very, very cool and very nice. You can bring it down close to join us a little. And then I'm going to shift Sunday a little. Reason being that I want to achieve balance. So we have join us. And then I'm going to click on join us layer and press Ctrl J to duplicate and change the font to every okay every i'm going to bring every down press ctrl t to reduce the size and place it around there okay this looks cool and nice you can bring join us closer again so we have join us every sunday and then i'm going to add a little shadow on join us every so i'm going to highlight the two layers every and join us and then i'm going to press ctrl g to group that reason be that i want to make the effects to affect that group okay i'm going to come down to where i have add layer style and then click on drop shadow so it brings up this dialog box look at the shadow it has a purple color perfect you can copy the color code here for the purple shadow color okay this is the color code and then we're going to click on okay and let's play around with this shadow reduce the size a little to get something that looks like this size can be 59 your spread should be 11 and your distance should be 33 you can reduce your opacity a little okay to somewhere around 70 that's perfect hit on okay so we get something that looks like this is very cool it's a very simple flyer with photoshop okay so with this we're going to bring our logo down a little because we now have enough space you can increase the size of the logo a little so it will be visible that looks cool and very nice cool next up i'm going to bring in this lens flare lens flare a lot of people have issues downloading this it's called lens flare you can get it on google sites and use it for your design drop it here and make sure it's at the top of all the layers place it there change your blending options to screen cool screen and take it down to where uh under sunday somewhere around there somewhere around there looks perfect under sunday and then that's cool and nice okay you can take it up a little around here join us every sunday a very nice and simple flyer and then next thing we're going to do is to bring in time which is 8 a.m okay 8 a m okay i'm going to play around with this shape here um create a rectangle tool create this rectangle just like that and then you're going to make some curves okay when you come to your properties panel you see something like this these are the four corners of the um, rectangle shape okay and if you adjust one of these it adjusts all okay but then i don't want to adjust all the sides you look at this circle all the sides are being adjusted so i'm going to return everything back to zero and then i'm going to click on this chain icon it's a link okay so we don't want to link all these curves together click on that to unlink so once you unlink that you can hold on one side and adjust and you get something that looks like this okay that looks cool i'm going to make it two one four pixel while others will be zero so this is what we get and with your rectangle tool selected hit on where you have your stroke and click on no stroke so we don't need any stroke there white is okay i'll take it up and place it around here press ctrl t to transform and reduce the size and place it around here so we get something that looks like this but then our curve looks a kind of distorted so i'm going to click on you to activate your rectangle tool again and let's adjust this and make it look perfect take it backwards till we have one four zero point nine pixel and that's it okay you can see it here one four zero point nine pixel that's cool and with that we're going to type our time okay i'm going to activate my text tool and type 8 pm okay change the color to red okay red looks cool so it's 
we're going to be very sharp ctrl t to transform and reduce the size and then you're going to place it around here and this looks perfect and nice okay so once you get this done we can make um 8 pm board you know we are using montserrat and montserrat has a lot of font family so i'm going to change it to black so this is what we get 8 pm very bold and black okay that's it so next up we're going to bring in the location of the church activate your text tool and type um gods let's reduce the font size to something around 14 and uh, it's too small but i'm going to type with that gods desire ministries okay okay and then i'm going to type um calabar south calabar okay and i can add cross river state that's cool and i'm going to adjust the leading so the spaces in between them can be adjusted just like that and i'm going to change the font family to um medium okay it's going to be montserrat medium for the venue and i'm going to align to the left then i'm going to change the color to white so this is what we get okay god's desire ministries god's desire ministries calabar south calabar cross river state i'm going to make the church name a little bit bolder um i can use extra bold for that so we get something that looks like this okay reduce the size again that's cool place it around here and then i'm going to bring my location icon you can get your location icon anywhere anywhere you you want to so i'm going to go to where i have my location icon and i'm going to be pretty fast with that and lift it up anywhere bring it to photoshop and drop so i'm going to reduce the size and place it around here okay here that's cool and change the color to color overlay and this is how it's done okay when you bring in a jpeg to photoshop you come down to where you have your add layer style click on color overlay it's very simple change the color to yellow we can pick this yellow here um let's see this perfect it's on okay okay so we have something like this place it here and that looks cool and hit on the church name select the, the location icon and the church name and place it at the center just like that it's at the center now and take it up a little so once you are done with that we are going to click on the church name again let's duplicate that and type something else ctrl j and bring it down and then edit the text and type um come let's worship our king and then you observe i love adjusting my tracking when it comes to text like that okay so i'll adjust my tracking to 960 okay you can make it um, let's reduce it a little that's cool 620 i leave my tracking at 620 and place it at the center just like that come let's worship our king then for inquiries okay control j again bring it down this time around and let's type for n queries okay so i'm going to reduce that i'm going to reduce the tracking to zero return the tracking back to zero and then use regular let's use regular for this one and then let's type this plus two three four I'm going to hide this identity 0000000000. 000 000 000 000 000. That's it. You can add another phone number. Uh, 000 000 000 000. And that's it. Change for inquiries to this same yellow we have here. I'm going to click on my color, click on this so I can have that. That looks cool. Place it at the center as well. Uh, that's the center there. And take it up a little. You can reduce the size a little. That looks cool. 
and very nice so pretty much this is it but that's not all okay the very last thing i'm going to bring in is this stadium light i have just around here and you're going to download all these resources in the description and use it for your own design it's free of charge to get the resources so i'm going to click on the very first layer at the top that is location click on the very first layer then bring this reason being that i want the stadium lights to be at the top layer take it up a little increase it a little and place it around here so once you do that next thing you're going to do is to rasterize if you don't want to rasterize there's no problem with that but rasterizing makes the image quality to reduce a little so it won't be too to um it won't make photoshop lack okay so i'm going to change my blending option to screen so when you change the screen it's shiny it's too shiny okay so i'm going to adjust click on that and press ctrl m or command m on your keyboard and make this curve adjustment okay bring this down a little so you can see it becomes cool very cool and nice okay hit on okay so once you're done with that hit on okay so pretty much this is it let me know down in the comments what you think about this video and if this made sense to you make sure you share this with a friend thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video peace